to the Gorilla Branders podcast. Uh, my name is Ian Utili, and I'm the chief gorilla. And I have a couple oh, yeah. wonderful <laughs> men here with me that we're going to all host this together. Hello, hello. So, Drew, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, my name is Drell Hall. I am the producer gorilla here. You are? Yes, the producer gorilla. I do a lot of different things here um, from media production, audio production, and have to work with this guy all day. And now working with this guy today. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you. <laughs> Tell us who you are, which we all know who you are, especially yeah. this right here. Well, uh, my name's Aaron Hind. I'm an entrepreneur just like you. Um, yes. According to the test we took last night, I'm a change agent as well. <laughs> you know? But uh, had some highs and lows in business and always pushing the envelope moving forward. And fortunately, we found a uh, nice little groove in what we're doing with Life Aid Beverage Company and, uh, and Fit Aid especially. And uh, yeah. so looking forward to sharing some of those experiences with you guys. Yeah, awesome. Fun. awesome. So I am Ian and uh, Gorilla Branders is a company that I run with an incredible team, uh, very passionate about our work. Uh, I also am an entrepreneur. I've started many companies, uh, many failures, and some wonderful victories, which I'm grateful for. So let's talk about the name of our podcast yes. and break it down a moment. So it's the Gorilla Branders podcast. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, that's our company and we're doing it here in our office. Um, it's, it's nice just to have that synergy. So what is it about? It's about direct response and social media marketing. So there's two types of ways that entrepreneurs are, are reaching out and, and getting inbound marketing uh, for bootstrapping entrepreneurs. Uh, so that's, that's what we are. We're, we're guys that start companies, we're scrappy, we get people to volunteer their time for equity, <laughs> we, uh, we pay people half of what they're worth, I pay people that, half of what they're worth, but I don't pay myself like, all most of the time. Pay it's not that bad, bad. yeah, pay it all. Um, <laughs> Bootstrapping, trying nice. to make it work without the funds, uh, trying to make it work uh, when all you have is a vision and a strategy and you got to figure out how to get there. Uh, a couple ways of doing that is really nailing down direct response and the social media marketing aspect because you can generate such massive ROI. Yeah. Uh, one thing I've always looked to you, Aaron, uh, Dr. Hine, I should say, is <laughs> what you've done with direct response marketing. Sure. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. that, that's why it's such a big part. Well, we're, we're going to talk a lot about direct response and uh, a lot about social media and monetizing your social media. Yeah. But I'd like to break down the name even a little further because I'm, I'm not I'm not a gorilla brander guy or employee <laughs> right. or have interest in the company, though I love the, the name and the brand. But when I think of gorilla, I always think of the, the chief gorilla, yeah. the King Kong, right? Mm -hmm. And King Kong, what's King Kong all about? You know, he's smart, he's passionate, mm -hmm. he's climbing tall buildings, he's getting shot at half the time, mm -hmm. just like an entrepreneur. So just I like think, Ian, basically. I, just, I think gorilla uh, fits right in there. You know, branding, yeah. well, you know, when, when you say branding in the direct response world, it, it's kind of like a swear word sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, because in direct response world, we're focused on, like you said, ROI. Mm -hmm. Although, that being said, it's not that anyone doesn't want to have a brand. So we're going to talk a lot about, you know, how do you create a brand and get an ROI at the same time. So I like the, the first two, the component, of the Gorilla Branders component, not just the, the follow-up on direct response right. and social media marketing for the bootstrapping entrepreneur, but it's a great name. And uh, today we're going to add a lot of value because yeah. we've got Absolutely. the expert on putting together a podcast. and. <laughs> And Our producer. That's right. That's right. So any of you entrepreneurs yeah. out there that are thinking yeah. about, have been thinking about right. getting into the podcast realm, mm -hmm. and I'm going to give a couple of just real quick plugs to you know some, some mentors of mine yeah. that uh, have mm -hmm. really opened my eyes to what mm -hmm. a podcast can do for you and your business. Um, I, I'd say the first person would be uh, Dr. Ben Altadonna, a good yes. friend of mine, yes. a mentor, great direct right. response marketer. Next would be Joe Polish and Dean Jackson and, and what they've done yeah. with their I Love Marketing mm -hmm. podcast. Great podcast, a lot of good value and, yes. and information yes. there. Um, Dan Sullivan, a strategic coach and, and also the 10X uh, podcast. Yeah. Um, and, and then um, lastly, I want to give a little shout out to... Uh, to all my friends um, in, in the CrossFit world and that are doing big things with Barbell Shrugged podcast mm -hmm. and and, yeah. uh, and what they've done there and, and, and Mike and all those guys, good guys. But cool. that's kind of what interested me and got this conversation going and, right. and, yeah. and you know yeah. wanted to move forward and rock and roll and, and add some value ourselves. So yeah. Yeah. It's, nice. it's funny, you and I have been talking about starting a podcast for a while, Aaron. And we would sit down and say, well, we got to do this thing. We have so much to share. We want to connect with you know, the folks that, that are saying, hey, how are you doing these things? And it's one yeah. way we can reach a lot of people at one time and give the information away. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, and it wasn't until Jarrell made himself available to do this with us that he thought, gosh, here's a guy that really gets it, right? Yeah, he, he can yeah. build a podcast from the ground up, get a massive audience, you know, tens of thousands of people tuning in. Yeah. And, and if you're listening to this podcast, you may be wondering, well, this is your first one, guys, and how you doing and how'd you get there? So, Jarrell, talk to us a bit about yeah. what did it go into the preparation of getting here? Yeah. Why are we doing this? What's your goals? And, and even a little yeah. history on your past Absolutely. successes okay. as far as podcasts are concerned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, before I get into history, I really want to stick with, you know, just how to build a podcast because yeah. a lot of people look at that and for those who are watching building a podcast now is literally one of the most important pieces of your business mm -hmm. you know we all look at the technology we have nowadays we, we I mean we can do everything from live streaming to things from our phones computers and whatnot but no one ever thinks about why podcasting is important you know of course we're going to get to that you know later on in uh, other episodes of you know how podcasting is important to your business but with this particular show, it was one of those things to where we had to think about it of what's the best way to interact with our audience, other entrepreneurs, you know, really talk about ideas and have a free form. Mm -hmm. And podcasting gives you the ability to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where it came with this was, okay, we looked at different things and I've created, I would say, probably more than 20 different podcasts. You know, I've done five for myself and 15 for different companies, different people like that. And what I learned is that with podcasts, it's literally one of those, it's kind of like Legos. Mm -hmm. You know, you can really build what you want mm -hmm. and build it how you want. I mean, you mentioned, you know, Barbell mm -hmm. Shrugged. Mm -hmm. You know, you mentioned I Love Marketing. And I have a few other um, Uncensored Talk Radio, mm -hmm. you know, by a good friend of mine, Karen Ashley, and a lot of other shows like that. And the nice part about it is you can do them anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you can do them in right. the office, you can do them at your house, you can do them, some people have done them in their bathrooms. <laughs> a little bit disturbing, but <laughs> it, the cool thing about it is it's podcasting. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Yeah. But the nice part about it is, is that you get to give people you. Right. You know, you get to say, hey, I mean, hey, we're three guys standing around a whiteboard right. table. If you guys haven't noticed, we're in a really cool table. We get the right on. You'll Love see us same. doing that a lot. And with this particular show, it was like, how can we really address bootstrapping mm -hmm. entrepreneurs? Mm -hmm. You know, because all of us, we all have our own companies. You know, you mm -hmm. have the Life Aid Fit Aid. You have, of course, Gorilla Branders. While I'm here, I have my own production companies. We said, we need to kind of give people that different perspective and mindset. Right. So I said, a podcast would be the best idea. Mm -hmm. And the nice part about podcasts is you need what we have here. We have a camera, which you guys can see us ugly, lovely, ugly faces. <laughs> you have a mic, you know, and then we have pretty much a set, you know, so a mini set that we have. And once you have those things in the subject, you can pretty much go go to show with that. So what's the you equipment know? list someone's looking at? Say it's like, oh, I've yeah. never done a podcast. I listen to them. But mm -hmm. uh, what exactly do I, I need? I see we got a GoPro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got a, a Canon camera here. Yes. Mm -hmm. What kind of mic do you have here? Uh, I have a mic by um, Blue Yeti. It's uh -huh. called the Blue Yeti um, Silver Edition mic. This mic is one of my favorites because you can get it from either a direct website or Amazon for now about 80 bucks. It's one of the best nice. mics you'll find. You know, and this thing, I've done voiceover, I've done podcasting, I've done live shows, I've done all kind of things with it, and you can pretty much take it anywhere. It's a USB mic, and the cool thing about USB mic, you plug it into your laptop and you're done. Cool. You know, you get yourself a camera, I used to use a webcam on the Logitech camera right. that I just plugged into my computer, full HD, 1080p, and I was good to go. Right. So all you this know, feeds yeah. into your, your laptop, mm -hmm. and then what program are you using to capture um, the, the recording and, yeah. and all that? Right now I'm using um, the AVS recorder, that's a pretty much basic recorder, and also Audacity for both recording and post-production. Right. And pretty much with those few pieces, the last piece you need is a show. You know, okay. show and personality. Once you have all those, where do you get together, AVS at? I, I, you can download that. You can um, download. It. Yeah, okay. download that. Uh, just go to Google, type in AVS or even Audacity. Audacity is one of the better, and more popular programs out there. I'd spell that for you, but I, I can't. Spell that <laughs> Actually, let's see. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, you got it. It's okay. cool. There we go. Yeah, Aud let's see. We'll do this. Yeah. We'll just put yeah. spell check. Yeah, exactly. Right there. <laughs> Nice. But no, um, but after you get those pieces together, then of course you need a show, you know, mm -hmm. and like I said before, you can have a show off of anything. People, mm -hmm. they've done shows about building things, um, driving, going to work, day-to-day -day stuff, you know, what we're doing for bootstrapping entrepreneurs. And after you put those pieces together, you're pretty much done, yeah. you know, and then at that point you have to realize or decide if you want to go on iTunes, YouTube, you know, your own personal website and different things like that, and then you build your audience. You know, and that's the second part of it where I had a lot of experimentation of how to build your audience. You know, and the first thing I say is it's kind of like- Can we hold yeah. back up just a yeah. little bit? How would one go about actually, okay, I've got, uh, I, yeah. I downloaded ABS, I got yeah. Audacity, I got the basic equipment, mm -hmm. I record a show through, through uh, using these two uh, programs. Mm -hmm. 
how do I take that and put that on iTunes? Yeah, so with the process of going through iTunes is nowadays, it's, uh, I would say it's a little bit easier, but at the same time, it takes a little bit more back-end work. Okay. With iTunes back in the day, you had to go through this long approval process. You have to have all these things in place. Website had to have a certain amount of this and all these different recommendations. But now, if you put together a pretty solid podcast and you have your logo and your everything set, you can get, I would say, anywhere between 5,000 and 15,000, you know, Know, listeners a month then pretty much iTunes might even find you <laughs> mm -hmm. you know because iTunes they have a cool system built into where they pretty much scan the internet to see who has the most popular podcast mm -hmm. you know and see who's getting the most listeners or views and things like that or if you submit it and you give them you know all of your analytics on hey this is what I do month to month this is what I do week to week but you definitely yeah. recommend starting with with iTunes right off the off the bat I wouldn't say all the time because when I did it, um, when I did my very first podcast, we actually had our own embedded website. We had, you know, we were working with another station okay. and we just had all of our own analytics and we drove people to our website. Okay, so if yeah. you're not going through iTunes, you need to have your own website or yeah. uh, some type of a page yeah. set up that you can basically post yeah. the audio and or video. Yeah, yeah. you know, okay. and nowadays you can do that with, like I said, Easy. websites, Facebook pages, mm -hmm. you know, WordPress right. can give you all that, or even things like Blog Talk Radio. So look, a couple yeah. programs, a laptop, which everyone has, a Facebook right. account, uh, mm -hmm. uh, under one hundred dollar mic and a GoPro, yeah. you can be good to go. And you're right. good to go, you know. And once you get those things, you're pretty much set. Yeah. So yeah. You so know. you want to talk about the uh, the marketing of the podcast and growing that audience yes. a little bit? The marketing of the podcast, especially nowadays, it's a lot more creative in mm -hmm. terms of how you can do it. Before it was just like you have to just put it out there, listen to my podcast, listen to my podcast, everyone uh, mm -hmm. discover it. But now we have things like Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. you know, YouTube, and different things like that. Um, tagging is one of the biggest things I tell people when you're building a podcast. Mm -hmm. If you don't tag correctly, you will miss a lot of opportunities to place yourself in certain categories or genres. Right. You know, um, ours is about bootstrapping entrepreneurs, you know, direct marketing, different things like that. So we would have certain tags. And also, um, like I was saying before, it's kind of like um, investing. Mm -hmm. The first thing you do is when you're trying to raise money, who do you go to first? Mm -hmm. Friends, right. family, right. you know, local businesses and things like that. Same thing with the podcast. Mm -hmm. When you build your podcast, tell all your friends, right. tell all your family, tell, you know, your local businesses around and have them start building your audience for right. you and the cool thing about podcasts is once you get them up the listen or the view counters start racking up so just tell people hey if you don't listen to the whole thing listen for 60 seconds a day mm -hmm. you know listen for 15 seconds a day and what happens is as you start to get more counters and they except for out, this one you want to listen yeah. to the thing whole <laughs> entire because we are always going to have gems yes. that we release at the end so if you one minute it, that's right that's you see right. all of us are pretty big guys yeah. okay we don't play i'm playing <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, that's the thing. And after you start building that audience, especially if you have, you know, friends that have a, a lot of, I guess you can say, a big reputation or yeah. they're pretty popular friends, definitely get it to them. Yeah. You know, because if you have celebrity friends say, hey, can you just put this on your Twitter or your Facebook? Yeah. And then you start to build your audience that and, way. And we're going to have a whole episode on marketing and specifically yes. marketing around, you know, mm -hmm. podcasts or information products. So yeah. we'll, we'll do a deep yeah. dive mm -hmm. into that. I, I like to talk a little bit about, you know, someone's at home, a, a, a young guy, he's got an idea he's ready to start up a business yeah um, you know he's discovered the podcast because mm -hmm. the names appealed to him so he's listening right now at home or or, or her yeah um, if if it's never occurred to them to do a podcast yet mm -hmm. they listen to them they see the value in them and maybe they're sitting at home going well gosh you know I don't really have a whole lot to say <laughs> and, and I think that we would all agree yeah Everybody has something to say. Yeah. Right. Virtual, you all, you have you have unique experiences that nobody else right. has except for you. So you have a very unique uh, um, uh, outlook on life yeah. and business mm -hmm. and family and all kinds of things that you can talk about. So don't sh sell yourself short if you've been yeah. thinking about it. Right. You know, do it. It's yeah. all about action, moving forward. You know, push the chips in and make it happen. Mm -hmm. And I think Drell's really lined out how, how simple it can actually be right. yeah. to do it. And, and I'm also, glad because this has yeah. been an a, a education for me. <laughs> That's why you and I sat yeah, down yeah, and said, like, let's do a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to do one. Yeah. Eventually. Well, we, need, we didn't grow up in it. Yeah. We well, had white, brown, we needed right. a black guy, and then we did. You know? No, it's very nice. Yeah. But also a note that you hit on that I like that is, you know, uh, when you said don't sell yourself short because nowadays you can literally monetize and even make content off, off of almost anything. I remember this one podcast this young lady had was her podcast was literally discovering local stores around her neighborhood. 
You know, what she would do is she would go around to her neighborhood, take pictures and make small little five second or 10 second videos and put them up on her podcast and talk about them experiences. Right. A year later, I can't, I can't remember the name for life me right now, but a year later, I mean, she, this girl, she's now making what, like five grand a month just off doing that. And and now she goes to like different cities and says, Hey, these are like 10 little local stores in your area that you might not know about. You know, and it was just an idea that she came up with out of nowhere. Great idea. So it's really, I tell people all the time, it's not necessarily, you know, what type of content. It's if you're passionate about it, Mm -hmm. you know, it solves a problem. That's a very, very big note. If it solves a problem and you can find a way to make it, you know, relatable and, you know, cool for everyone to watch or listen to, you can make money off of it. Well, look at all the people, all the all the instances of someone, you know, posting their music on YouTube. Yes. And what was it? Didn't Justin mm-hmm. Bieber start out that yes. way? Another guy. Yeah. Great exactly. example, right? I mean, it's like mm-hmm. you know, you look at these examples, and it's like there is no reward with stagnation. Yes. You know, you have yeah. to have action. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, and Absolutely. building a podcast isn't just about oh, stroking your ego. I have my own podcast, or <laughs> building <laughs> you know, you your <laughs> your personal brand. But yeah, given. You look at all major successful brands that are out there. Who do you think of when you think of Apple? You know, I mean, there's one person, right? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, who do you think of when you think of Google? And mm-hmm. and and uh, and, and uh, you know, look at Elon Musk and, yes. and all he's done and Tesla. Mm-hmm. It's like there are individuals or a small group of individuals behind every major brand, and they exactly. have personalities, they have mm-hmm. reputations. Mm-hmm. So if you're thinking, well. You know, I'm just focused on my business. Well, if you focus on something like this a little bit as well, this yeah. does help your business. Yeah. We're not going to be blatantly promoting mm-hmm. our businesses all the time. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like put a huge <laughs> logo w- on the wall. So, promo. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, no, no <laughs> but yeah, I mean, th- that is actually something that is a good point because mm-hmm. I tell people there's nothing wrong with self-promotion. It's just that it has to have a purpose. You know, what we're doing here, we're not only promoting our brands, we're not only promoting ourselves, but we're also promoting a community, the community of entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we're even doing this podcast is because we see that there is a problem that needs to be solved. You know, and that's a point that I will make a lot throughout all of our episodes of if you're not solving a problem, what are you doing? Right. And that's another way of saying adding major value, right? We want to add value. So each and every episode you walk away with something that you can take action on, something that's tangible. So this episode, you're gonna walk away with, okay, I can actually do a podcast if I so choose. Mm-hmm. Um, the next episode, are we are we ready to start? I don't even know what time it is. We're yeah. gonna keep to we about got, a half got, hour. Yeah, we got 10 minutes. We're yeah, gonna walk okay. in. We have our, mm-hmm. Good. Here's the thing, I'm a young guy. I'm a, doing sales, I'm trying to figure my way out. You know, since 15 years ago, I'm getting started in business, start with sales. You know, oftentimes, uneducated entrepreneurs, that's an easy way to get in, mm-hmm. right? What did I do all day? Did I listen to music? No. Mm-hmm. There was no iTunes, no podcast, no vodcast, none of that stuff. Mm-hmm. I had cassette tapes. Cassette tapes of, you know, motivational speakers mm-hmm. that taught me how to, you know, talk really loud and passionate and bring it down and be really mellow and, and, and draw somebody in. You might have blown in. someone's ears out. You'll see that a lot, yeah. just let you know. I'm not actually sorry, <laughs> even if you didn't like that, because if I was sorry, I'd have to stop and I'd like to do that. So I'm listening to all these guys on the cassette tapes, right? Yeah. And I would listen to five, six, seven, eight if hours If you don't a day. know what a cassette tape is, Google it. I'm going to bring one on that so you guys can see that. It's not that old. I used to listen to cassette tapes. I'm a baby. (laughs) And I'd listen to it and I'd constantly just absorb it. And these guys were guys that were on stage in front of thousands, tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of people. Now, could I get these speakers to come sit down with me? No. I I, I couldn't probably even pay most of them to have Mm -hmm. coffee with me. But I could rewind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I could press play over and sure. over again. I could listen to it over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. You know, it, oftentimes it's the same thing with a book. You know, you say to yourself, you know, I can't get in touch with uh, Malcolm Gladwell or Jim Collins. Mm-hmm. But I can sit down with, you know, outliers. Or I can sit down with, you know, from good to great. Yeah. And I can read and I can stop and say, wait, Jim, mm-hmm. would you say that again? Yeah. And mm-hmm. you go back a page and you just read it again. Yeah. Right. That's something that's so powerful about this video or this mm-hmm. audio mm-hmm. is that It's not just that you're listening to us. We're going to have all sorts of guests. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be really a guest-focused podcast with men that we appreciate and we want to build a platform that they, men and women, that they can come and they can speak and share. We all do have something to share. 
yeah. something of significance. Yeah. But we don't have the ability mm -hmm. to constantly meet with people one on one, or we don't have the ability to even you know maintain every speaking engagement that we're invited to. You know, if we went and spoke every time we've been asked to speak at a conference or a networker or some sort of event, we would not be able to run a business because right. we just constantly be out, right. constantly mm -hmm. speaking. Um, so I feel like this is a great tool, mm -hmm. and you know that's we have iTunes for, we have YouTube for, we have mm -hmm. personal websites, and you can distribute it a thousand ways. I like to, you know, it, it, you, it's an interesting concept when you think about it. You know, I spent uh, looking at my my uh, student loan statement. You know, I'm almost two hundred thousand dollars. Welcome that to the I, I, you know, in student loan debt, and I look at that, and I'm just, you know, it's Man. like, well, 200 grand, it's not that much money, but it's a chunk, you know, it's a chunk, um, for that education. Okay, yeah. so I have nine years out of high school, you know, in, in college, five years undergrad, four years of <clears throat> <undergrad throat> college, mm -hmm. a lot of money spent, opportunity cost. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. If I was to do it all over again, right, I'm going to get on one of these little soapboxes. Mm -hmm. If I was to do it all over again, would I do it the same? Well. You can't discount the connections, the yeah. relationships, the yeah. maturing that happens while you're in school. Okay, yeah. I'm not, you know, so I'm not going to poo-poo school. At the same time, if if I had tools available, see, yeah. mm -hmm. when I was in undergrad, 10% uh, of my freshman class even had an email. It just had hit the scene. Right. I mean, we're wow. talking, yeah. you know, mid 90s, right? right? Yeah. So yeah. Wow. It, it really didn't exist. So if you wanted to get information, you know, or or become quote unquote educated, you went to a, a university. Mm -hmm. You know, you right. you went to the library. You opened up the textbooks. You did that. Right. Yeah. Think of the the valuable right. information that is available now on podcasts, <laughs> on books that you can download for free or get yeah. for ten bucks right. at the yeah. store. Yeah. Um, on YouTube, I mean, the, the information is there. So for anyone that has a passion mm -hmm. and wants to pursue something yeah. and is like, well, I don't have the money to go to school or I don't have the credentials or I'm not smart enough or what, that's BS. Right. Yeah, I mean, what is, you need to do is, is yeah. just, you know, go on YouTube, pick something out, start watching some videos of people that yeah. seem like they know what they're talking about. Right. You get a lot of, college, if you want to go to college, even college professors now yeah. have lectures and stuff on, online. online. Yeah, exactly. You know, so yeah. it's like, yeah. think of so the, the information you mm -hmm. can get. I mean, in the last uh, year and a half, my knowledge of marketing uh, um, and, and growing a business hmm. ha has just skyrocketed. Right. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't even say 10x, I'll bet it is 100x. I would imagine, and yeah, seriously. The, I spent some money around that and I dedicated some time around that, mm -hmm. but some of the most yeah. valuable stuff that I got, I got for free. Right. Yeah, okay? and, and, and I like how you really pointed out a couple of things that I really want to, you know, lay on, especially in the last few minutes here is, you said access, mm -hmm. you know, and the amount of access to the information because, you know, hey, I'm only 28 years old, you know, went to school, did all that, racked up a bunch of student loan debt. And I don't, and it's funny because I look at it in a different way of my generation, if that's what you want to call it, although I was raised a little bit different, we kind of look at information a lot differently, mm -hmm. you know, and it's a lot less of an appreciation there mm -hmm. because there's just so much available. Mm -hmm. And I always try to remind people, hey, we have a lot of stuff that years ago we had to work for because I still remember that I had to go to the library if I want to look up something. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a Google back when mm -hmm. I was young, Open you know. Encyclopedias, yeah. Yeah, you know, and, and, and it's Britannica. funny, yeah. you know, and that's the thing about it. it's like all the tools. If you want to learn about marketing, advertising, you know, direct sales and different things like that, you have to go and actually find it. Mm -hmm. right. And and it's so interesting that a lot of people say it's so hard to start something up nowadays. I'm like, in a sense, that's true. But if you can literally type something in on Google and look at a podcast or look yeah. at a webcast or something yeah. like this to where people are giving you all this yeah. information. It's like, honestly, this is $100,000 yeah. information. And, 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 and if be things were free. easy, then you know, yeah. I, they say yeah. everybody would do it. I, I, I don't quite even agree with that. No. I think if everything was no. totally easy, you'd still have a small yeah. percentage of people because yeah. people are too mm -hmm. lazy and like to sit on yeah. the couch and make excuses. Exactly. You know? exactly. So, yeah. But those aren't. that's not our audience because mm -hmm. by nature of them listening to this podcast, they're already uh, yeah. making things happen and, yeah. and getting that mindset going, getting those juices flowing and get ready to take some action. So that's what it's all about. And that's the yeah. big thing is giving you guys action items to say, okay, don't just listen to the things that we say. Hmm. Take notes, you know what I mean? Right. We'll be doing that a lot. That's why you see us even writing, you know, today and, and even our in our episodes coming up, we're gonna be writing things. We're gonna be saying, hey, this is important for you guys to listen to. Mm -hmm. You know, this is important for you guys to write down and do it. That's the big thing about it, is it's like right. you can have all the information in the world, but if you sit on it, 
what is it worth? That's right. You know, and like I even just said, we're going to be giving you guys hundred thousand dollar value information here. We're going to be telling you guys not only how we're going we to bill you things, also. If, <laughs> you, if, you, <laughs> get, if yeah, you do get to the end, we have this whole artificial intelligence thing. Now we know where you're at. Send the invoice. And then you have his loud voice come to your door. So <laughs> sorry about that in advance. But anyways, <laughs> but that's the thing about it, you know. So in the last couple of minutes, what are some of the things that you guys want to tell people to look forward to in terms of what we're going to be talking about? Yeah. You know? Well, I think our next episode is is, is a great one yeah, because yeah, we're going to mm -hmm. start talking about some specific you know, direct response yeah. techniques, right. yeah. some social media techniques, or, you know, what that even means, what yeah. that's all about, mm -hmm. and, and why should we be paying attention to that. So mm -hmm. um, if you don't have a social media presence, or you do, but it's small and you want to grow it, if you're new to direct response marketing, don't even know what that means, yeah. you know, tune in the next episode. Awesome. And also, I forgot to give my old man, Bob, a, a shout out at the beginning. <laughs> he, he, he really set me on the entrepreneurial path yeah. and, nice. and uh, early, early, early on, so I, I appreciate him. Yeah, I want to throw in my dad, right Gary, yeah. same yeah. thing. I mean, I watched him work the 60, 70, 80 hour yeah, weeks, nice. working the seven days, do whatever yeah. it takes, seeing him have massive employees and then whittle down yeah. all because of what's happening in the market yeah. and just yeah. watching him and seeing his faithfulness and him being a legend to me. Yeah. Um, how about you, any final thoughts before we uh, wrap this and get ready for what we do next week? Um, my final thoughts would be really listen and take notes on the things that we're going to be saying because we're going to give you guys, gems, the guests that we have coming in, you know, just in these episodes they're really <clears throat> valuable people we're not even bringing you know just big caliber people we're going to bring people that you may not even know about and know how important they are you know we'll be talking about things that can be personal can be non-personal but all of it will be valuable because we're doing this as a service to say hey we're doing it we've done it this is how it can be done you know and it and like we said we're giving it to you guys because this is this the thing now, you know, bootstrapping yep. entrepreneurs, we're the superstars nowadays. That's right. You know, so yeah. Hey, well, we got our first one in the books, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah buddy. All right, guys. All right, see you guys week. later.